Hello, uh, welcome to the Strategy 110 meeting. Uh, I apologize for the busyness. Uh, I've been busy, so yeah, it's technically 112, but this was supposed to be the place to the 110 meeting. And so, uh, yeah, we'll just make a short video about it and it'll be cool. Let me hide for the meeting controls. Perfect. So this one's about space. Uh, you can see that the background is a uh, art, but is the wrong type of space. We're looking at the type of space. Let's see if we can do the pointer. Yeah, it's type of space between field elements. And uh, there's open and there's closed spaces, depending on the game. There are like a lot of different games in FRC, and some of them have more space than others. Uh, this is the 2019 game. It's deep space. Uh, there's a lot of field elements on this field. And so here's an example of a more closed space over here, which is where there's a smaller space in between field elements. And here there's like a pretty big space in between um, elements of the field. Like this part rises up right here and you have this cargo ship over here. That's like a pretty fat space. So it's easy for robots to maneuver around these big spaces, but it's harder for them to maneuver around these small spaces. And yeah. And then here we have a game where basically the entire field is open. That's a really big space. And so you'll notice there's not really many field elements on this game. So this is just an example of a field where there's a lot of space. And here's one where there's not a lot of space. It really depends on the game. And yeah, here's another example because we got plenty of them. Uh, this is the 2018 game. You'll notice again, there's not that much space. Um, funny coincidence, 254, 254, that's why I had to this Um, but yeah, uh, even though it's just a practice. But yeah, you can see here, there's just, there's a lot of field elements, elements here. You have the skill in the middle, you have the switches on both sides. It means there's just not too much space. So what, why, why do we care about space? Uh, and the main one is that too many robots in too little of a space results in robots being slowed down. If you want to have the most efficient cycles, uh, the best way is a straight line from A to B, right? Or just the most quick path to get from one point to another. When other robots get in the way, you might have to modify the path, or maybe you have to slow down to get around these robots. It doesn't matter if these robots are on, on, are on your alliance or not. Any robots in that space is going to make everything slow down. Now, sometimes you want to slow down robots. That's the point of defense. And um, that's why it's really good example of like space that defense is best played in the small spaces because it slows down the most. If you're in a small space, you can't get around the other robot, or maybe it's really hard to get around the other robot because the space is smaller. You have less room to maneuver. And defense becomes so much more effective in these small spaces. That's why it's the best place to slow opposing robots down. But yeah, um, when you plan out match strategy and stuff, you have to make sure not to congest your space too much. Because if you do, especially with your own alliance, if your alliance is causing, um, is like taking up your own space, then it's going to cause, it's going to wreak havoc. And so, you have to plan out because oftentimes you can go to different areas of the field to do your task. You can go different paths. And that's that's kind of what you want to do. Because otherwise, if everyone takes the same path, then robots are going to get in each other's way. And all right, this is my favorite example of space. Um, so just a little bit of context. Uh, this is the 2018 field. We're just going to watch a quick two minute video on it because it is one of my favorite matches of all time. And um, I'll explain what is happening throughout the video and what happened afterwards. They're really cool. Drivers behind the line. Really Three, two, one. All right, finals match three. This one's for all the marbles, folks. And all eyes are on the red alliance. Yeah, just enjoy the video for now. One of the most entertaining ones. Because of the uh, oh uh, Whoa! Lawrence Torrance, I've never seen anything 
like it. They just did a pull up on the scale. Red Alliance takes over the scale. Blue Alliance is somehow still functioning. Somehow that's still functioning, robot. They're going, putting the scales up. Yeah, all of these things are crazy powerhouses, by the way. This is really good. Red Alliance now takes the scale. 3310. I guess chain all over the robot. It's too much to handle, but they're still scoring. That cube sticks it. Red Alliance keeping it just barely with the help of the Citra Circuits. It's neck and neck, but blue versus red. Despite that auto mode, blue is still trying to catch up. 26.59 snaps the cube from the Citra Circuits, and now they retreat back to their pyramid. 13.23 playing some mad defense on the cheesy poops. They're using that word, making sure that they can't it's get anywhere. It's tipping back towards blue. A cube dropped. The scale tipping. We're back to neutral. Citrus circuits taken back for red. Blackhawk going up for blue. And that cube falls. Down for blue. Minute in the match. Two five four attacking the far side switch. All right, the, now, the most exciting part is going to come very soon. There we go. Blackhawk up back at the neutral, putting it hopefully upstairs. There we go. It's tipping towards blue. All right. Citrus. So, um, as you can see. Uh, 3310 is in this um, bottom left corner. Keep an eye on what's going on there. So just look at 3310 over here. One, it's six it. It's okay. neutral again. It's going to neutral. There we go, folks. 3310 and 1678 fighting over the no zone. Red Alliance already playing their levitate. Blue, no power up as of yet. Now the scale goes to red. Red takes over the scale as with 30 seconds left, it's time to climb. Some desperate last minute cube maneuvering. If you look in like this part of the field, this is the Dirty 310 uh, lead coach. He is mad. He is so mad uh, because they're being trapped over here. And set fish playing defense on the far side of the field. 20 seconds remain. And they Citrus finally get free. Already on the run. They lower down that panel for the M set fish. Here comes 3310. Remember, their climb is temporary. They gotta time it exactly right. Red with a big lead. Here comes Citrus. The forks are oh, down. Oh, 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 down. The forks are down. The forks are down. They missed it. All right. So now I'm gonna explain why this is a 20 minute video. Um. So, uh, if you look over. Uh, okay, so I can't highlight on the video at all, but you can kind of tell that there are small spaces. Um, let's go back to full screen. There's small spaces in between the left switch and the field wall. So that, like that left thing right there where Dirty Degree 10 was stuck for like a lot of the match, it's a small space. And so if a robot is there, you can easily stop another robot from going past it because that's a, that's a small space. And um, well, it's actually, the uh, it's actually illegal for two robots to block access to one robot's uh, field elements, or just like the rest of the field. Like that robot was trapped in that part of the field. It couldn't get out because those two robots were blocking it. That's actually illegal. Um, initially, uh, Red won the match because they had more points, but uh, the judges ruled that it was illegal and Blue won the match uh, 20 minutes later. So they actually took the awards from the red from the red alliance and gave those awards to the blue alliance 20 minutes after the match ended. So that's a pretty uh, interesting example of space. Drivers behind. No. And that leads us to choke points. Um, it's a small space that um, is part of almost every game in strategy, except for the super open games, but. Almost every game that has field elements somewhere in it is probably going to have choke points. Uh, and again, 2018, this is the 2018 field right here. There are, you can see these choke points. Um, and those choke points are exactly what's used in a lot of defense. And if you can recognize these choke points, use them in your strategy, uh, you'll have some pretty solid strategy there. And they can help, they can help you uh, if you're defending the opposing alliance in those choke points. But at the same time, you can also be defended in those two points, so it can also hurt you. One of the big parts of strategy, uh, I haven't said this before, is that not a lot of teams do strategy, but strategy is really what you can do to make your team go to the next level. Every single powerhouse team, you bet they do strategy. If you want to win worlds, you have to have amazing strategy. It's just how it is. Um, 
because otherwise people will have better strategies than you. And even if you have a better robot, they can still beat you. For example, those choke points, like you can do some really solid defense in those choke points. So you want to make sure to try to minimize them to avoid them. And then in 2020, the center of the field was kind of a choke point in that a lot of robots would have to pass through the center of the field because if you're a tall robot, you can't pass through that short trench area right here. You have to go through the center. And so that was a key spot for defense. Well, I guess technically it is because infinite recharge is still happening, uh, but it's been a while. And then interference. So another big part of space, you'll notice that this space here is pretty open, but uh, I mapped out a simple strategy that a lot of uh, teams I've seen done. And you'll notice that there's two paths that are really in close proximity here. Um, because to get these power cells, this is the main area to get power cells from. It's the human player station. And then you can go a variety of paths from there to shoot them. Uh, you can see here, robot Y goes all the way across the field and shoots them here, while robot X shoots them from the trench zone. You'll notice here, there's a lot of paths in close proximity. Um, you'd think that people would notice that. Uh, they didn't. A lot of people did defense as robots were shooting over here. As a result, you're only playing defense on like really one robot, and oftentimes it didn't even help. If you played defense over here, where robots were intaking and there were paths in uh, close proximity, it would have been a lot more effective. But so many robots, so many teams missed that this year. And that's a very key observation. And that kind of goes back to um, mapping out paths and stuff. You want to map out paths so that you can see strengths and weaknesses in those paths. One of the big weaknesses in this path is the space. And there's not really too much you can really do about this because this is the primary place to get power cells. But not many people exploited this path and people really should have. And so that's a big part of strategy is that I'm sure many matches would have been won or lost if people had uh, exploited this. But not a lot of people saw it. So um, yeah, I understand it's the video. So if you don't, um, if you miss distractivity, it's OK. It's a pretty short one. It's really easy. All you have to do is find choke points in the 2019 game. Um, and it's literally just like draw on the field whatever you want. Um, just feel free to make the draw on your own and find a couple of choke points. It should take like two minutes, legit. So. Um, I would appreciate if you guys did distractivity, and I think this wraps up the video about space. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed.